Yo, yo, Peace One Two, what's up, y'all? Yours truly, D Prime Two One Five here. If you're watching and you dig it, like Uncle Booker T, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to Yours Truly. If you see what I have on, you know the flag I'm carrying. You know what it is. And if you don't know, you're gonna learn today. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, now you know. Word. So, what am I talking about for this video? I'm talking about TNA Slam Anniversary 2024. The theme music uh, for the pay-per-view. Um, I've never made a video talking about pay-per-view theme music. It just hasn't been something that I either was interested in and or had the time to do. Um, as far as me making any of these videos about pro wrestling or anything related to it, um, or just in general, um, I do this because you know I want to and I have a passion for it. I'm not doing this to go viral, chase any type of clout, like. I got a whole life outside of this, man. Like, it is what it is. So, if I ever decide to do it, I got the time and best believe I have the passion for it. So, that's why I'm talking about it. The, the song was um, Chocolate Face by West Side Gun. Uh, DJ Callum is on the record. The song is not out yet. It's from Fly Guys and Awesome God 3. Why am I talking about this? I mean, one, if you see what I have on, I mean, this really should be your answer, right? Like, for one, you ain't never gonna see anyone else with this on. And if they do, all due respect, they ain't putting together like me. So, um, you know what I mean? I, I, I got to talk my stuff every now and then. But anyway, why is this uh, important to me enough to make a video about? Uh, for one, it was just a really, really pleasant surprise. Now, you might be thinking, yo, D, like, how could this be a surprise? West Side Gun, he's a huge pro wrestling fan, so on and so forth. What, do you live under a rock or something? You know what I'm saying? Like a certain Samoa may have said one time or another, if you know, you know. Um, if you if you think I live under a rock, well, you're ass nine, ass ten, ass eleven again. All right, um, it's a pleasant surprise because for a couple reasons. One, yes, West Side Gun is a very, 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 very passionate pro wrestling fan. Right, uh, he's a hip hop artist first and foremost. For those who might not know, um, I say for those who might not know because I've made videos. Um, talking about West in relation to pro wrestling um, over the years here and there. Um, and one thing that I tend to acknowledge a lot is that most pro wrestling fans, uh, for lack of a better term, the average pro wrestling fan doesn't know who West Side Gun is, right? Like I'm obviously a huge fan of his, but I understand a lot of people who watch pro wrestling aren't. Now, to that point, um, I, you know, I do go outside. I am at a lot of well, as many as I'm able to go to, obviously. I can't be everywhere at one time, but I try to go to as many pro wrestling shows in person as I can. And I will say this, I do see more people wearing, you know, West Side Gun related stuff, Fourth Rope, Griselda, all the Santa Third. I think it's dope. I was at a TNA show recently in Philly and I saw um, at least one person with the, the Sting, uh, Thank You Sting shirt on with the, the purple, white, and red drawn. I was at Forbidden Door. I saw a couple people with the Thank You Sting on. I saw somebody with the Hills Have Eyes hoodie on. So I'm not going to act like people ain't wearing West Side Gun stuff, right? So again, but it's, it's not like super widespread, right? And also to that point, I'll, I'll uh, speak briefly on this. I made a video about um, West Side Gun when he had, uh, I, I can't really say he had the issue. It was more so the other way around. Uh, there was an issue between well, Greg Hamilton, who worked for WWE, um, he was an in-ring announcer. Um, he took issue with West Side Gun sampling his voice in Undertaker vs. Goldberg. Undertaker, yeah, it was Undertaker vs. Goldberg. And some context on that, again, I'll link the video so you can watch the whole thing, get the whole thing. But long story short, Greg Hamilton had an issue with it like over a year after it came out. He was talking crazy on West, like, oh, like, uh, West trying to get a name off of me. So I'm just trying to let you know, like, you know, not everyone knows who he is in the, in the world of pro wrestling, right? So that's that. So when I saw, you know, West Side Gun, like, first I, I remember he, he uh, previewed the song on, on Twitter. And I, I remember the line he said, like, um, they say I'm buying TNA. That's the rumor or something like that. I was like, yo, that's an ill bar. You know what I mean? Because, again, like, I've, I've been watching TNA since 04, before Impact, all right? Like, before TNA Impact, I, like, I'm not even talking Spike TV. I'm talking like Asylum Days, dog. So I've been on TNA. You understand what I'm saying? So um, 
And I heard that, I'm like, yo, that's an ill bar. I already knew what it was. And I know, like, he'd been to TNA shows. He, he's all over the place, man, West Side Gun. So, and, and Smoke does as well. I see the whole RFC, Fourth Rope, and West, that, West Side. That's a dope, um, it's a dope collab, man. I like seeing them working with each other. So, anyway, I'm, I'm looking down, I'm like, yo, this is dope, man. Because for West especially, like, you know, he's made so many songs about pro wrestling and naming his songs after wrestlers, whether they be, like, Rob Van Dam, um, I think he got like an Elizabeth song, Batista, uh, you know what I'm saying, making, you know, uh, gear based on pro wrestlers like the Sting shirt, I got the Owen Hart hoodie in pink, there's so many, um, you know, references, whether it be uh, like the, the clothing, the songs that he's made in pro wrestling, so I could just imagine for him, this was like really a dream come true, like one of his songs got used, right? And the reason why I found it, it was such a pleasant surprise was the fact that sonically, his music is not what you would expect to hear like uh, a major pro wrestling company use for a pay-per-view theme, right? Like, listen to it. Would you, like, if it were hip-hop, you're looking at something like maybe more along the lines of like, uh, I don't know, like, maybe like, like a Machine Gun Kelly or Eminem, because you know people like you know lose yourself. That's like a, a really prevalent um, song. I'm thinking like stuff that's like typically more popular, like Travis Scott or um, you know something like that. Maybe Rick Ross. Like you would expect some someone like that. You wouldn't necessarily expect West Side Gun to do that. When you hear, it, I'm listening like yo, like the beat, the beat sound like something out of like like 95 or something, you know what I'm saying? I was an infant back then, I wasn't listening to hip hop back then, I was trying to figure out, you know, my ups and downs and meaning of life. I'm still trying to figure out the later one, the uh, meaning of life part, but anyway, um, it sounds like it was from that era, right? It's, it's so, it's it's raw, it's gutta, and he, he's talking that stuff on there. I mean, it's only like a 30 second clip, I don't, we ain't hear the whole record yet, but it's like he made it there his way like that's the illest part man it's like he did it doesn't sound like something like oh like this ain't it it's like oh the west side gun try to do the crossover like no like this is some official tissue michelle griselda sound and drum man i'm like yo this is so dope you know what i mean so like i'm obviously obviously very happy for him happy for this whole thing um you know, I know he, he signed, uh, the name escapes me, uh, I'll probably link it in the um, in the description. He signed his first wrestler to fourth rope, so it's good to see that coming along. And, um, you know, Wes has a lot of respect from pro wrestlers. Like, he has a, a mask from Ray Phoenix that Ray gave him. Like, he took it off of his head and gave it to to uh, West Side Gun, which is a really, really big deal. Because um, that shows a lot of respect. So he's cool, you know, with the Lucha Brothers, uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I actually met Hacksaw Jim Duggan at WrestleCon in Philly and we were talking about uh, the Naxxaw Jim Duggan project. He said that was super dope and how like Wes was showing the love. So like he has that rapport, right? You know, Scott Hall as well, rest in peace. And uh, brief thing about that too. Scott Hall, I met him a couple times and the last time I met him, he actually signed my uh, Fly Gods and Awesome Gods CD for me. I had no time to be the, I had no idea that would be the last time I met him. And you know what I mean? So that that's always near and dear to me. So um I don't want to make this so much about me, right? It's really about West Side Gun and, and, and uh TNA and pro wrestling as a whole. But um yeah man, super happy for him. Um happy for this whole thing. So like another thing about me, like I've been a West Side fan since like 2015, because Sky Zoo did the song with him called Rolex and that made me a West Side Gun fan. To that point, I am so not one of those people like, oh, like, you only start listening to them at this point. You're not a real, like, dog. Like, I have way more important things to do in my life than to be the type of guy who's like, oh, you just got on this. You weren't really there when they started. It's like, the goal is for people to gain more fans. I'm not, I'm not gatekeeping like that. That's whack. You know what I'm saying? I don't do stuff like that. So, hopefully, you know, we get more, you know, West Side and TNA and, you know, maybe... Uh, with AEW as well, Tony Khan mentioned him. Um, he's been on AEW programming, so hopefully this grows more and more people get to you know, um, 
learn about the whole, uh, you know, West Side and Griselda and all that in the fourth row. And Smoke Dizzard. Don't sleep on Smoke Dizzard either, man. I can't even talk. Don't sleep on Smoke Dizzard either, I Like, he get busy, you know what I'm saying? Don't Smoke Rock. I'm waiting on Don't Smoke Rock too, Smoke Dizzard, if you see this. Not that you know me personally, nothing like that. But I'm waiting on Don't Smoke, Don't Smoke Rock too. you know what I mean? Uh, that's uh, his album uh, with uh, Pete Rock, you know what I mean? They said they're going to do a part two. We got Statue of Limitations, which was dope. But I want those smoke rock too. Uh, but anyway, man, Fly Guys and Awesome God 3 is supposed to drop this year. Um, sometime in the fall, that's what TNA said. But yeah, man, super happy for him, man. This is this is great, man. The the when hip hop and wrestling come together, and it's like it's different. You know what I mean? Because again, this is like this is not the typical way you would think about it, right? So like it's super dope to see it this way. And uh, what else was I going to say? I think that was it. Um, yeah, it'll come back to me if it does. I might leave it in the, in the description. In any way, man, in any case, let me know what you think. Do you like it? Dislike it? Um, oh, that was the last thing I was going to say, too. So, um, I said this before. I did a video. I was on a podcast, like, years ago, like, over five years ago. And I said there were three things that got me back into pro wrestling, right? Because between 2010 and pretty much all of 2015, like most of, somewhere around 2010 I dropped off, but for about five years, I didn't watch pro wrestling. I was completely out of it. I didn't care for it. I was over it, right? Three things got me back into pro wrestling, and these all kind of happened around the same time. Um, AJ Styles signing with WWE. Never thought that would happen. That's 2016, right? But slightly before that, West Side Gun and Conway. Those two in particular, Benny as well, but mostly West Side and Conway because, you know, I think they are the, West especially, um, they're the biggest, you know, wrestling fans of that camp. Um, you know, around that time, they were starting to make some noise. And I was like, yo, they, they came out, they were calling themselves Hall and Nash. And it was just something about it that was like, that was different. I'm like, yo, like, these people make me want to watch wrestling again. And here we are now. And they have... We got Brazil, the theme music, being used for a pay-per-view theme. Like, this is, you know what I mean? Whoever thought hip-hop would take this far, you know what I mean? So if you don't know, now you know. And um, looking forward to what's next, man. That's all I got to say. You got any, you know, uh, comments on how you feel about it, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Again, if you watch this and you dig it, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to yours truly. D-Prime215. We'll see if this hint before. Support the wrestling you like. Support the music you like. Um, be good out there. Like Uncle Larry says, good job. Do good out here. All right? Peace.